Hello guys and welcome back. We are here for round number two of the Battle Arena scrim. So uh, hope you enjoyed the very first game. Uh, it was a bit of a cracker there as we saw that the circle went all the way down to the bottom left there. And uh, it looked as though that uh, a lot of teams were actually converging around the quarry area. And there's uh, quite a number of teams going at it together. We had Cracker Jr. We had uh, um, Minokopi. Uh, we had... Uh, um, Later on, Gifam even turned up on that side of the map there. But all is all for nothing as uh, we did see that the, uh, there was a lot of dominance coming out from Red Sea after they were holding that compound uh, right in the center of the map for much of the, the last few stages of the circle. And uh, even when it came down to three teams, we did see that it was going to be difficult for the rest of the teams to actually try and get through into the zone there. And uh, we did see that in second place, it was going to be Team Balats there. After they were able to hold out longer than uh, Freaky Board Team. Freaky Board Team only had a little uh, shack to actually call home there. And uh, that was always going to make things uh, incredibly difficult. There was a lot of open space there. So all these other teams like GIF Esports Bravo, Resurgence and whatnot, they couldn't really get across or find a, a suitable cover there. And they were all soon picked off bit by bit there. So we are just getting ready here for round number two, guys. We are going to play on Miramar. We have four matches total for you tonight. So uh, after we finish this, we'll play another round of Erangel and also Miramar there. So uh, let's just get, let the things get underway here. While I take care of something. Okay, guys, let's get ready for round number two. And so we see that is going to be all the way from the south eastern side, uh, southwestern side, guys, Valley del Mar, all the way until Al Azahar, in fact. And uh, let's see how these teams shape up here. Now, let's see, we have Resurgence coming out here early in Valle del Mar, and uh, looks as though that is going to be very good for them, as there's actually no other teams deciding to drop early here. And uh, usually they go for Picado, but I think because of the flight path here, it's going to go right over Picado. I think they do want to try and avoid uh, a lot of potential uh, problems over here. And uh, I think we see Red Sea here going for a power grid area here, which they really do like here. And uh, now we will see that... Uh, Team Old Man here also dropping into this area of the zone here, sharing it with Team Joseph at the moment. And it looks like Afam and the rest of um, Team Balats here will be dropping out and going towards Los Leones. But over here on Monte Nuevo, it looks like uh, for Team For Fun will have it all for themselves as they move in. Now, elsewhere, it does look like uh, Minas Generales will be a little bit crowded. We got MBT uh, Nobby over here, uh, followed by uh, Minokopi, the maroon or reddish team here and we got freaky boar team here also dropping there but looks like san martin going to be all alone for quack jr here so a nice turn of events for them and then picado is going to be e give esports bravo here having it all to themselves so now looking at how things are the circle has all the way gone down to the southwest i wonder if we're going to get all our matches tonight like this so it's going to be interesting to see how this one develops a little bit here and uh we will be seeing geek fan go for the traditional campo militar and looks like uh there's a little bit of tk going on here at hacienda as uh there is going to be a big firefight uh, coming out here but i guess uh some are a little ex more excited than others here but it looks like the res will be forthcoming as currently they are separated onto the north and south sides so we're going to have team buduya here sharing with uh team august at least for the the time being here until they actually start to get some good angles on one another now it looks like uh there is going to be more loot here for Team Noob August here, so going to favor them a little bit. They do also have the balcony here at their disposal to try and get some good angles. Now, you know, we already see that uh, Casual Lisa, ooh, taking a little bit of fire from Crown TV here. And uh, looks like he's going to uh, bug out towards the garage side here, see whether or not he can catch them. And looks like Connector here is going to be a little bit 
spotted here by the rest of uh, Noob Argus now. Legendary X7 going to make his way over to the other side, but it looks like the jump over here is not going to be... Uh, Missed by casual elites here, but looks like things are erupting here as we already see the connector here being quite the the hotspot for all this action that's going on here and looks like dead mal here gonna be all by himself and all of the team members here from uh Uduya here actually getting wiped out in one clean swoop but uh not without loss i think they did lose one of their team members so unfortunately inter interest interest spam here gonna die early on but it looks like there's more uh, confrontation this time in Minas Generales as we see Salka here able to knock down Snazu and Snazu um, doesn't actually have his team members around him at the moment Darkas is all the way on the northern and upper tiers of Minas Generales so the other three team members over here from Ricky board team are going to try and make their way over here as they're going to try and put the hurt onto uh, Snazu and uh, look out for any of the other teammates, but they are a little bit spaced out. Don't see nobody occupying the western region at the moment. Now, looking at how things are, are going here, I, I don't know if uh, there are a lot of teams here that actually did manage to secure vehicles. I did see a lot of teams just go straight for the looting phases here. But I guess the plus side for them is um, like Picado, San Martin and uh, uh, Al-Azhar, these teams, and and even Geek Fam, they're all very much on their own, so they should be able to find vehicles regardless here. But I think like what we've been seeing so far in competitive play that we do have to s happen to see a lot of uh, these teams actually start to get these vehicles right at the start of the game, and um, especially when you have uh, circles like this one, it's actually going to be really crucial for these teams to actually try and make their way over here. So far, no teams are really um, in real rotation here at the moment. Roslux D is moving along for minimum copy at the moment here, so they could try and reserve a slot in the center of the circle straight away. But see how that part is going to develop here. We already see that it's going to be incredibly congested in this region here. So a lot of these teams here have to be mindful about how they're going to rotate. So likely what we might be seeing here is a lot of teams will drive all the way down to the south and go west. Or they will go west first and then they will head south here. So we already see that uh, 6 Gaming here opting to go right down the middle here after being one of the first teams here that's decided to actually start making their move. But now it looks like... Uh, they should be able to get a decent spot here if they manage to make make it all the way. But this whole corridor here is going to be really awkward for teams to actually try and uh, get through to the end zone here uh, pretty quickly. But yeah, we see also that uh, Freaky Board team also making their rotation also quite early here at the moment so it looks like it should be quite okay for them and uh other teams here are actually facing a lot of problems that we already see that uh six gaming here after being one of the earliest teams to move they're taking a lot of fire this time from minimum copy and they also do have the incoming fire from free keyboard team as well so free keyboard team not in full rotation at the moment here but not in not prepared enough to actually catch these other teams in rotation for the time being so now looking at how things are going to be going here, uh, we will be looking to see how this thing will be further developing here. We see Red Sea here making a, an early rotation themselves here as they look to try and get inside the zone pretty early. As um, they did, they were very much at the power grid area here, but yeah, they do see the benefit of trying to get in earlier. But Omnidine here and Elliot here for Team Old Man here are going to try and put up some of those long-range shots onto Red Sea. It's going to steer them a little bit away here from this zone. Now, they don't know exactly how many team members there are over here. And, uh, in fact, it's not going to be the final resting spot for the team members from uh, Team Old Man in any case. You know, they just want to actually try, just try and stave off some of the competition for the time being. But now it looks like uh, Red Sea facing further problems here as they're getting pushed away by I'm and uh, Inex. Uh... I'm NYX. Um, but yeah, in any case, uh, it has steered Red Sea a little bit further forward. So yeah, this is a, a good tactic that you can do, guys. Uh, to try and steer other teams away from you, despite the fact that you only have one or two team members. You just shoot at them a lot, as you would normally. Um, just to try and make sure that they stay clear of uh, whatever compound that you might have laid claim to uh, initially here. And uh, now we see a lot of teams here in rotation. We already see Tactical Stock moving their way through the power grid area here. But they might come very close to Picado, so they do actually have to be 
be a little bit mindful as we see KMF1 not in rotation with the rest of his team Esther. He's decided to try and take some shots at some of the other players here. But looks like A6 is going to be caught out here by John C. Nobody and Salka. And looks like that's going to be it for him. And uh, they will be moving onwards here later in this game. But now we already see that uh, the rest of 6 gaming here in a little bit of trouble. And everyone is making their rotation all the way through the same zone, guys. So it can get very crowded here in a uh, very very quick amount of time. Now, it only takes one team to actually take up one of these spots here, like we see uh, some of the team members over here uh, from uh, Team Freaky Board. And uh, they're putting some shots further onto Red Sea. Red Sea still have not found a place to occupy, but they have managed to find on top of that hill. But it looks like Elliot and Omnidine here will actually take the, the church area here as they look to try and uh, prevent all these teams from rotating here. This is a good spot to actually try and catch out a lot of these teams here as you got a lot of vision but they don't have the rest of their teammates here uh they are currently going for a 2-2 split here at the moment there and it's actually going to hinder their ability to stop these other teams it looks like pokoy are going to put some hurt onto gift esport bravo here as uh now we see that there are going to be uh, a few more of their team members here coming through this zone and looks like uh dara Jbot here taking a little bit of hits here but looks like elliot will be able to catch him out but he is taking a lot of hits himself not mistaken that's going to be from uh team freaky board so but looks as though elliot should be able to confirm the kill who did actually get number four in the kill leaders board on the last weekend's uh pubg malaysia singapore uh championship qualifiers number two guys so uh looking to continue his killing prowess there and uh rumor has it that he's looking for a team so uh, if you are interested just hit elliot up and uh, yeah, others are making their way down from the south. We are, we see some of the others taking their time. Geek Fam in particular already in uh, in the blue for quite a bit here, as they also have BN Power there to contend with. But now things look incredibly crowded in the center over here, as we already see Freaky Board Team shooting at the rotation from the other players. Uh, this time from Noob Agus here, who are trying to advance onto this compound currently occupied by the the team members of uh, Team Old Man. And it looks like uh, Elliot does have a great angle here. He's able to spot them out, but it looks like uh, uh, one of the players actually going down to uh, Freaky Board Team, but Elliot will get the final kill onto Crown there. So that's gonna be it for Team Noob Agus here in this round number two. And the others are making their way in. Looks like in the center, these teams have pretty much settled on these compounds that they're going to occupy for the most part here. Now, of course, a lot of teams here will be actually going for these central areas of the map here and trying to make sure that they can actually get ahead of the next circle. Then they have to they can minimize the number of rotations that they actually have to do. But now we see that uh, Mino Kopi here in a little bit of trouble here as Rosa D gets uh, knocked down here. But it looks like they're able to put some right back onto MBT Nobby here. And looks like Katfan Gaze here and Rexen going to be in a spot of trouble. And uh, looks like that's going to be two kills going the wrong direction. So uh, now we will be looking to see how things are going to further develop here as we go along. And uh, all these other teams are making the rotations here. We already see that Mr. Pa here and the rest of um, GIF Esports going to try and have a little bit of... Uh, action here on the road for the time being here as they are chasing down the the team members from uh quack jr but quack jr should be getting away here except for the fact that one of their players did get caught out so it looks like skip's going to be in for early game here and wow all the team members here from gift esports taking a little bit of damage here than they would have liked but at the expense of uh, uh getting one kill it's going to be well worth it but wow this second circle guys i mean <laughs> That's going to be really awkward for all these players here. And it uh, looks like Resurgence here, one of the first teams to move here. All these other teams here, uh, Team Old Man, uh, GIF Esports, Bravo, Red Sea, Freaky Board Team, all going to have to make their moves pretty quickly here now as uh, they try and claim these spots. But Resurgence will have that central compound here. But now it looks as though Tyler and Rosox uh, and Asmix here are going to try and get some revenge here as Asmix able to catch out Rosox D from his rotation here and looks like that's going to be it and he's going in for the, the personal kill here as he looks to punch Rosox D or he gets panned pretty big there so yeah it looks like everyone else is moving here but Red Sea here might be moving a bit close to uh, Resurgence here but currently Resurgence here not fully set up here at the moment 
And not sure whether they can spot out the rotation that's going to be coming in here from the team members of uh, Red Sea. But it looks like NRL in a lot of trouble here after he's... Uh, Mike did a little bit of a cartwheel and he gets caught out there. So that's going to be it for here. him as a uh, resurgence is going to be able to finish him off. And it looks as though that they're able to claim... Uh, one of the loot crates for MK14 as well. So nice boost to the firepower there. So Red Sea going to occupy the compound a little bit higher up on the hill over here. But now it looks like over here that we do have more fighting here as Asmix goes down to Darkus. And now it's going to be Tyler versus Darkus at the moment. And it looks like Tyler is going to be finished. And uh, that's going to be it for MBT Nobby here as they go out in round two. Now others are also making their way. Geek Fam seems to have been in the blue zone for quite some time here, but now they are colliding with uh, Team Quack Jr. here, as it looks as though that Ninja's here are going to get caught out from his vehicle. Jank's taking a bit of damage, and it looks like Croft here also getting knocked down, leaving Meow here to try and get him up, uh, but the pressure is not going to subside anytime soon here, as likely they're going to try and finish this as uh, as quickly as they can, but Jank's still not with a lot of health here. It only takes one snapshot here to work it, oh, its wonders a bit and a nade coming in here but luckily it's a little bit too far away here but now Meow and uh, Croc here are a little bit separated but looks like KNY got good let's get caught out here so a little bit of trouble here for Geek Fam early in this game and now the blue zone is coming again and Savior is still in the blue zone from before so they're using a lot of their meds and uh, economy in a way here early in this game. So not going to be too good for them. But it looks as though Freaky Board Team was advancing onto this position occupied by Red Sea at the moment. And looks like Kex is here. Knocked down and he's going to be eliminated as well. Papa Zayed and Hagos just trying to get a little bit of a better position. But now Pokoyo here going to put some long range shots onto John C. Nobody. But he's going to try and bug out for his team. As uh, Koya Gaming is also in the near vicinity as well. But now we will be looking to see how this is going to um, further develop at the moment. As uh, now we see, oh, the all of the team members from Six Gaming here uh, fall, stumble upon the team members of Team Old Man, and it looks like Team Old Man should be able to survive here, as uh, Rain Zara should be res here by Vertsi. And uh, look, now it looks as though the fight is over here at Valle del Mar. Geek Fam will finish off the eliminations here onto Quack Junior. So Quack Junior going out. A um, little bit early here in 16th position. So now elsewhere, we do see that most of the teams here have spotted or come up with their spots here as a uh, resurgence here. Kind of separating themselves here and kind of hedging their bets just in case the circle does go towards the southern island. Now, third circle does not uh, distinguish between water bodies and land here. So it could actually fall predominantly uh, over water yet again. This is actually mostly water, if not mistaken. But now looks at, looking at it, oh, it's still very much going to be over water here. So most likely the circle, the next circle is going to be here because four circle will prioritize land a bit. And uh, if uh, Resurgence stays in this compound at the moment here, they're likely to be okay. But oh, it looks like Rain Zera and Elliot going to be able to catch out the team members from uh, Rose Gaming. And Rose Gaming goes out here. But now it looks like Aaron and uh, Foresight here. Going to try and throw it up here. Now, actually, I don't think it's Koyak Gaming anymore, guys. I do think that uh, someone else has come in for them. So we'll just call them mixed team for the time being here. But others are making their way. Red Sea and, uh, and Research is probably just going to consolidate their positions. But Aeon going to try and uh, claim another compound here. It's going to allow them to exert more map control here. But John C. Nobody able to take down Aaron. And uh, looks like that's going to be it for him. Foresight is still nearby. But the other two members of his mixed team are nowhere to be seen. So team number 12 here are going to try and uh, hang out for the time being while Ace and Zai do come in from the zone. But now it looks as though that there's a lot of pressure onto the two members from team 12 here. This time from... Uh, Team Old Man and three young boys. It looks like they're going to be able to knock those two guys down there. And nine kills already here for this team with Elliot leading the way. So guys, pick up your new kill leader here pretty quickly. And while he still doesn't have a team. But yes, we do see that uh, the team members over here from uh, Team Balats here are just going to try and put up some long-range fire.
for the time being. This time, they got the rotations coming in here from uh, Mino Kopi. But looks like k -Bytes and Darkas who should be able to, to get away here. There's enough distance that's put between them. But most of the teams have managed to get in. It's just going to be the team members of Team Old Man, which is still outside the zone at the time being. Uh, but they should be able to get in pretty soon. And uh, looking at how it is, uh, everyone here is quite spaced out. And now Moriarty and the rest of uh, Team Balas here going to try and just put up some of those more of those long range shots as Samut Man goes down here uh, at long range I think from tactical stock so a little bit of damage from them so Geek Fam actually going to Los Higos here uh, but now it looks like uh, there is going to be a little bit of a battle here as we see the team members from uh, Team Joseph here uh, taking down Afam through Railgun and it looks like they are all on the low ground here it's going to be really awkward for the rest of uh, Team Balats here to try and do their thing as now we will be seeing that uh, the angle here not good but Orion getting caught out here and it looks like uh, NJRX and Savik here are going to push up this side. And uh, looks like Railgun holding the fort there as he's able to mow them down here. And uh, that's going to be it here for uh, Team Balots here getting eliminated. Um, advancing up the hill, which is always going to be a difficult proposition there for them. But Team Joseph will come out on top in that fight. And now we will be looking to see how the rest of these others uh, actually do fare. And now we will be looking to see how these teams are going to maneuver around. They're all going to be waiting here to just to see how the circle is going to go. Resurgence does have a 2-2 two -two split going on here. They sort of can't cover each other to a certain extent, but the main aim here is to actually restrict the amount of uh, space that other teams can move into and uh, exert that map control for the time being. So Kasaki and Aeon going to hold up on this uh, southern edge of the map here at the moment, while Brax and uh, and Quadro, I think, are going to... or Luvia, sorry. Luvius are going to hang out there at that current junction. But now, oh, it looks as though that's going to be it for GIF Esports after they get eliminated from uh, tactical stock here. And uh, yes, predicted, it is going to be very much over here, guys. And uh, there is still one compound that's not occupied, but it's going to be difficult for other teams to realize this, that it's not uh, not currently being the, the home base for any team. But looks like uh, the team members from Team Old Man could actually figure this part out here pretty soon here if they actually do not see anyone and they could occupy right in the central uh, position of the map and uh, really make it difficult for all these other teams. And mind you, we also have Geek Fam all the way down here in the south. They do have four players alive, but I don't know how much in the way of meds that they do have available here. But it looks like Jangs here uh, will be able to get this loot crate for the time being and uh, a nice little bit of a boon for them. But now look, looking at how things are, KMF1 here is going to try and advance onto this position, which is currently uh, occupied uh, by Mrs. Bourne here. So she's going to have to do her part to try and make sure that she can come out with it. So now we will be looking at uh, how these other teams are going to make their way in resurgence here. Not making it easy for these teams in the southeastern side of the circle as uh, we see that the team members from Team Joseph have come down from the high ground already. And it looks like K-Bytes uh, feeling the burn here from Kasaki as he's able to finish him off with the MK14. But now uh, it's going to be just Darkus all by himself here. And uh, it's only going to be a matter of time before he spotted out. Kano, I got running the gauntlet here for... Um, Geek Fam here as he tries to get out as best he can. Looks like Darka is going to get shot through the smoke by Kasaki here. So now the rest of Geek Fam is all on the way through this zone here. So this could go horribly wrong depending on how good the shots are going to be from the team members of uh, Resurgence. KNY God couldn't do too much in that situation. And now we see that Modi and Jangs are going to try and run the gauntlet themselves. And uh, looking at how they spread the risk by all having different vehicles here. They should be able to, to get out of here with little worries here. As uh, now we see that um, Modi and the rest of uh, Geek Fam here just trying to return fire a little bit. But they do get picked off a little bit by Raid Zera there. Who's there all the way for Team Old Man on the hill. So that's going to be the prime spot for the time being here. Given the amount of vision that they have. And looking at that, it's going to be difficult for other teams to actually climb up that mountain. But all the other teams have managed to sort of get into the circle. It's just going to be that... Team Joseph here is still very much under the bridge, so they are a little bit trapped here by all the members from Resurgence. But now um, there is going to be an added element here as we do see uh, Savior and Modi here just trying to do the best that they can to try and put up more fire here onto these teams. As uh, now it will look like uh, they are going to try and just run for their lives, but there's going to be a lot of fire coming down from the hill as we do see that Squad 19 is going to be doing their worst here. <coughs> Oh, excuse me, guys. 
So yes, any in any case, um, looking at how things are developing here, these teams have pretty much hold up in their compounds here. There's not going to be a lot of other compounds for them to move up, but it looks like Aeon is picked off actually uh, by the vehicle explosion, if not mistaken there. And uh, these teams are going to wait for how the circle's going to develop here before they decide to make any further rotations. But some teams don't really have a choice here. Uh, Geekfam kind of hold up in this spot here. They can't really get out al alive pretty easily. But now looking at how things are developing here, we do see that the team members from Team Joseph here are just trying to move out from that bridge here for the time being. So Savior going to try and investigate a little bit here and see whether he can do anything. But he's getting spotted out by Bertsy here. And uh, he gets finished off. Oh, in Moraine actually getting the, the kill still here. Now Mahdi is going to be all alone here for the time being. And he can't even go prone there because he's on the hill. So that's going to be it for Geek Fam. They go out in 10th position here. And... Uh, yeah, other teams that don't really have a choice here is going to be Foresight and John C. Nobody for Koya Gaming or Mixed Team and Free Freaky Board Team, respectively. And uh, let's see how this next circle is going to fare. And uh, right in the middle is still very much going to be Team Old Man. But Red Sea uh, are going to have to push up together with Resurgence here. So that's going to be a bit awkward. Kasaki here all on his own now after Aeon passed away. But he, Aeon was a little bit separated from him in the first place. And uh, looks like this crossfire will continue for the time being. Brax and Luvia is going to have to uh, disengage a little bit here as uh, Kasaki does have a little bit more space to, for himself. And looks like Control got here. Got to just try and posture around a little bit while Kasaki is just going to try and continue to lay the hurt on. He's got three kills already here leading the way for Resurgence. But now others are going to try and make their moves here. John C. Nobody um, has to be a little bit careful here as he does have a Foresight right in front of him. And he's just trying to scope out as best he can and just try and get in for Freaky Board Team. Now, others are going to make their move on the western side. It's fairly relaxed for a tactical squad. They don't actually have to... Tactical stock, actually. Um, they don't actually have to worry too much. And this is going to be squad for fun here after they are going to move into the southern side. But it's going to be this high ground, uh, which is going to be interesting to see how it goes. But now Resurgence deciding to take this fight here. They do not want to be uh, fighting it out for ages here and worry about this team fighting them in the back. Brax takes down Immorane first here. And uh, Luvia is taking a little bit of damage here. Kasaki going to try and do his best uh, as he tries to put up some long range pressure onto Railgun. He manages to catch him. And now it looks as though that it's only going to be Angstcott here left by himself and uh he's gonna try and return fire but kasake here gonna get that nice three pack so excellent play from him as uh, he's able to cover his teammates very well and uh he's almost inside the zone at the moment he still has a bit of time Luvius now under pressure here uh, from Vertsi and uh, looks like he will get picked off there through the smoke. But Brax is going to try and make a dash for it. He looks as though he's able to get through just in the right amount of timing there. But now on top of the hill is going to be that very dominant spot for Team Old Man and 3 Young Boy. So they're going to try and do what they can. Now they're putting a lot of pressure onto Brax. But now we see that the team members of Tactical Stock here putting a lot of pressure onto uh, team for fun at the moment and it looks like uh, trading blows here in terms of a uh, little bit of a sniper battle right now They only have that little tree there available to them team for fun as uh, they are all trying to make their way here And Night Holy just gonna try and move around a little bit here get himself a, a little bit of an unpredictable uh, Peaking procedure going on as uh, he does want to try and preserve that helmet that he does have and now Brax gonna try and Return fire on top of that hill occupied by Team Old Man. And Team Old Man just gonna try and see what shots they can get here. But they do have that excellent vision here. And uh, now we will be seeing how this next uh, part is gonna be developing here. As we will be seeing that the circle is gonna close even further here. And it's shifted south a little bit, so uh, this is gonna be awkward. As this is a very steep terrain here as we did see. And... Uh, Actually, we still have uh, the team members from Team Old Man here still inside the squad or the circle rather. But Red Sea are going to have to move all the way out of their compound by now. But looks like pressure is building onto Team Old Man at the moment as uh, Vertsy actually getting knocked down by Kasake here. So Kasake had been five kills so far in this game and looking to have a, a good game from him. But just that resurgence here, a little bit uh, under strength here. But they'll have to make do with the situation. But looks like John C. Nobody going to be able to pick off both of the remaining team members of BN Power. So he's able to still carry the torch for our freaky board team at the moment. 
but he doesn't have to worry about all these team members here from Team Old Man, and they'll be willing to light him up, no problem here. But we already see that the team members of uh, Red Sea here going to maneuver a little bit here along this hill, as they do have a little bit of cover. But now Kasaki and Brax here trying to fight uh, the team members of uh, Team For Fun here, and Hahagus could give uh, a little bit of a surprise here if he's able to catch them out. But now he will be able to spot them. He's just going to try and wait for the right time. He has got an MK14 himself. And uh, let's see whether um, he's able to nail them or not. But so far, he's a little bit uh, waiting for the right time. And he does so, uh, taking out Brax here. And it looks like he's going to throw out the nade here and see whether or not he can catch out Kasaki here. And uh, he does have a little bit of a benefit with that little bit of terrain cover at the moment, but it can't help him forever here as Papa Zayat able to flank around the left side and get a good angle. Now, Red Sea are almost inside the zone here, but now Vertsi going to try and put up some fire himself from the high ground. Now, the rest of uh, Team Old Man here going to be able to very much stay on top of this compound here as it's going to offer a lot of uh, good cover for him. But Nine Holy looks like he's going to press the issue here. He takes down two of the players here. Three of the players. So th oh, no, actually he managed to get all of them. So excellent play from Nine Holy as he flanks the entire team for fun here. And that's going to be it for them. So leading the charge here for uh, Tactical Stock in round number two. But now John C. Nobody under a lot of pressure here from Rain Zera. And uh, he's going to force him down to go down the west side of that hill as... Uh, there's a no-fly zone over here, and uh, now looking at how things are going here, we see Elliot and the rest of uh, his other teammates are actually raining down onto Red Sea now, after they spot Red Sea in transition. But Pokoyo will have a little bit of smoke cover here, but that's not going to deter the team members over here from actually throwing some out there. So let's see whether or not uh, the nade can reach. It's going to be a bit hopeful there. Actually, it doesn't reach... Mm. Very close at all, but now it looks like tactical stock here under pressure here. John C. Nobody going out from the zone at the moment, and now he's actually gonna be seeing like Rain Zera actually move along this edge here. They do want to try and finish this fight here. There's only gonna be three teams left at the moment, and uh, the sooner they can take them, the better here, as they do have this circle here. So once they can take them out, they can face um, the Red Sea guys here, but they got no one looking down this uh, hill at the moment here, and that could actually be a little bit detrimental uh, at the moment if they are actually not too careful. But Rain Zera going to just try and do the best he can. Uh, for those watching on uh, Twitch, uh, I am aware that currently it is uh, having a little bit problem in terms of uh, accepting the upload that I have for the stream. So I do apologize if uh, that means that there's uh, going to be lack of vision here in terms of what's going on in this game. But I will be posting the VODs uh, for these matches online later on on my YouTube channel. So you guys can catch the action there. But in any case, seeing how things are developing here, Vertsi here gonna try and catch up uh, Papa Zayat here. He's able to do so and protect this uh, eastern flank here on the hill as they're currently fighting two teams at the same time at the moment. As uh, they do have uh, Team Tactical Start also making their way over here. So Elliot and Rainzera here are gonna hold the fort at the moment. They take down Rave Chow and... Uh, Looking for the last player here for Tactical Stock as Dreams is also down. But Hahagus and Pokoyo are going to be the last players for Red Sea for the, the time being here. And they're going to just try and hang out for the, as long as they can at the moment. But now Nine Holy here taking shots himself here. He's trying to return a little bit of fire. But uh, it's going to still be a little bit difficult to try and fend off uh, this push here. As well as the fact that he's got uh, Hahagus and Pokoyo in very close proximity here. And currently I think... Uh, I don't realize how close he actually is as he's just below the ridge here. And uh, not sure whether they're going to catch him out or not. But it, this does look like it's going to be a 3 on 4 battle effectively here. Unless uh, he's at Nine Holy is able to spot out Haha Goose. And Pokoyo is right next to Nine Holy as well. So not exactly able to realize what's going on. I'm pretty sure they realize that it's uh, their own teammates uh, from Red Sea, but no. It's going to be a tactical stock going out here, and it's going to be now Red Sea versus uh, the team members from uh, Team Old Man here. But it's looking increasingly difficult as... Uh, oh, Rain Zara taking a number of hits here after uh, Hagus putting up some shots there and making life difficult now. 
from Vertsy here. Going to try and push down the eastern flank here as Omnidine and Ellie are going to try and get in the flank. Rain's arrow goes down here, but currently they are swarmed on all sides. Hahogo's taking a lot of hits. Pokoyo has to heal here. He's going to go down pretty soon and looks like Vertsy going to be able to catch him out there. And now Pokoyo going to try and stop out Vertsy here, but it looks like he's able to pick up those last two kills there as uh, Team Old Man and Three Young Boy actually managed to call in 20 kills there. So excellent play from them and uh, they really held that dominating position in the center of the circle and able to rain down Hellfire onto the rest of the teams here and uh, at really extreme ranges as well. A lot of teams in bad positions there. Um, we saw Resurgence, we saw Geek Fam, and uh, we also saw Team Joseph all facing those problems on that side of the circle. And uh, Tactical Sock did well in that game. Um, after going out early in the first game, they actually did manage to make it all the way to the Western side. But yeah, in first place, it is going to be Team Old Man and Three Young Boy taking the chicken dinner there. And 20 kills to boot there. Vertsy going to lead the way with 7 kills. And uh, in second place, we have Red Sea. After taking the chicken dinner in round number 1, guys, they did manage to secure second place. But they were always going to face that very... Uh, difficult terrain advantage there and uh, as soon as the the flanks work and the pincer movement was in full force there for team old man it was always going to be uh, downhill in a way um, but yes in um, in third place we did have tactical slot coming out with a good game there nine holy did get that four packs there onto uh, team for fun so he had an excellent round there and uh, that was a good play from him so um, yep they did manage to secure that third place. And in fourth place, it's going to be Freaky Board Team after John C. Nobody able to still uh, make it right towards the end there after he got five kills as well. So it looks like Freaky Board Team able to claim third and fourth place uh, in rounds number one and two, respectively. So uh, that is going to be it for uh, round uh, number two, guys. So we will be going back to Erangel pretty soon. So uh, yeah, it, I apologize if the quality of the stream is not up to uh, standard. Uh, I'm not too sure exactly what is going wrong. Um, but yes, I will be putting out the VODs uh, later on. And uh, you will be able to watch them at your leisure on my YouTube channel. So my apologies for that. I'm not sure why. Um, the bitrate is not up to the, the maximum amount here, but um, hopefully you will be able to uh, get a better quality of the stream later on. So that's going to be it for round number two, guys. I'll see you guys soon for round number three.